talking about something super exciting. We're going to be talking about the Animal Crossing 2.0 update. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I took a bunch of notes on it. And, well, first of all, I know like, a lot of people have made like a bunch of videos on this already. And I'm a little late to the party, but that's okay. Because I'm going to give my little Rachie two cents on it. And, like, I took some notes on this. <laughs> Actually, yeah, like... 2 a.m. on Saturday night because I was waiting for the new Miraculous Ladybug episode like any responsible adult would do. It aired at 4 a.m. the other night and, and I stayed up for it. It was worth it. It was cute. If you like Ladybug, please let me know because I would love to talk about it. Okay, but anyways, back to Animal Crossing. So, <laughs> I took these notes on it the other night and, and yeah i just wanted to tell you guys like my my opinions my thoughts on the new update so here we go okay so obviously the roost is going to be the first thing they talk about because that's the first thing they showed in the direct and i have no words i it, it's so cute i originally wasn't really excited for brewster because i i never got to play him or never got to play like his feature in new leaf even though i played new leaf i never really got to that point in it and like you can bring the amiibos and you can bring all the villagers and like your friends and you could go and have a cup of coffee and it looks so cute and like yeah this <laughs> this advertisement for it totally changed my mind changed my excitement i can call i can call people to come have coffee with me i can have coffee with the april sisters yes 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 it's everything 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 Okay, so when I saw Captain, I, I, I absolutely freaked out when I saw this for the first time. Captain was my favorite feature in New Leaf, and, like, I loved him. His songs just make me so happy. Like, even if I'm, like, having a bad day, I go on, like, a little Captain boat trip, and it is the songs. I love them. I love them so much. Like, just seeing his little face, like, brought me to life. It, like, lit me up so much. I'm so happy for him. And, like, the new little mystery islands he brings, I just, I can't. I can't. Like, the vines. The vines, right? And, like, the little glow weeds. I, I have a fairy core island, so, like, personally, the little glow weeds will look very good on my island. And I really like that you can visit islands that are in a different day or, like, have different weather. That, like, it opens so, so many doors for, like, people that, like, don't time travel in, like, uh, amazing. Okay, so I feel like we all had the mutual reaction of, like, this is useful now? <laughs> this is useful now? Like, come on, a plaza? Like, I think that, like, this is what I went most crazy about, like, for sure, like, during the free part of the direct. Like, seeing Grace and Cyrus and all my, like, favorite, like, what would you call them? Traveling merchants? Yeah, like, Hicks and everyone that travels in this game, like, having them in the same area is gonna, like, change the game. Especially for people that don't time travel, like, trying to find these villagers, um, well, shop owner is really hard. Um, because they come on different days, but now, now you have them. And, like, ah, uh, Katrina. <laughs> having your fortune, I really like that they added that to the game because I feel like that's gonna add, like, a lot of more like lifestyle life to me aspect of the game and i really loved it and i really loved the new hairs i cannot wait to get a bowl cut y'all are gonna see rachie with a bowl cut <laughs> okay stretching okay <laughs> this was amazing i have no words for how excited this made me like this is going to be my new morning routine i am gonna wake up go to my switch turn it on and stretch i am going to stretch with my villagers and nothing will ruin my day ever <laughs> or at least my morning but yeah <laughs> so island ordinances are really something i'm excited to see back um i honestly can't wait to add the night out ordinance i often like to play like right before bed so this is going to be really nice because usually the shops are closed before i go to bed so having that um late no is it late bird no night out, night out. life changing Okay, so the upgraded storage I'm really excited about. I know a lot of people have been waiting for a long time to have their storages upgraded, and that's really exciting. Also, the new exteriors I'm very excited about because honestly, there's not a lot of options for them, and not a lot would fit a lot of people's aesthetics, so I'm super, super excited for the storage expansion in the new exteriors. Okay, so cooking. I screamed when I first saw this. I absolutely screamed. 
I it's very much stardew vibes because like you can grow all these plants right and I love stardew valley so I am very excited to have my own farm on the island and grow all the new veggies and oh displaying the food you make that's gonna open up so many decorating opportunities and like making cafes in my house or on my island or in the archipelago which I'll talk more about later <laughs> and um yeah it's just gonna open up so many doors for decorating it's gonna be so amazing to not use hats as cakes anymore i'm very excited the pro decorating license oh my goodness hanging stuff from the ceilings i honestly didn't expect them to put this in the game uh it, i think it's really exciting and oh the accent walls i'm so excited for this as someone that loves rainbows and a bunch of colors this might be one of my favorite things in the game oh in the pro construction license I don't know. I personally don't use a lot of inclines and bridges, but I know a lot of people in the community are going to love that. Absolutely love it. New fences though! I'm so excited to decorate with more because I know a lot of people, um, the fences that we have now don't match a lot of people's aesthetics, including my own, so I'm very excited about this. Uh, like I said, I have a fairy core island and I feel like I could do more with like the frozen or the large lattice than I could do with like what we have currently except for like the little like log I don't know what they're called but they're like little log stakes that I use as fences right now so can we talk about the Instagram potential with the pro camera like right it's gonna allow you to take such cool pictures for Instagram Ugh. can't get over it I'm pretty excited for the custom design patterns. I, I personally didn't use them a lot, but I do think it's exciting like to try it as an accent well. I do think I'll try out some of the designs with that because it does look cute on the advertisement. Finally, some new dues. I <laughs> I need some new dues, but I am going to use that bowl cut. Richie in a bowl cut. Yes, yes, yes. I think new reactions are pretty much expected in any Animal Crossing major update, so I, I expected this, but... They're really cute. I mean, come on, you can't get mad at these. I really think Island Life 101 is going to be really nice for new players. I think it's really nice that they added this in because I feel like um, some people might be scared to like start the game because they don't know what to do in it. And this will like just be perfect for people that are like confused on, the, on where to go with the game. New Nook Mile items. I'm very excited for this because on my very first island, I was trying to build an amusement park, but I didn't have the right items for it. So now I do, and I'm going to build an amusement park, a little fairy core amusement park. Okay, so like the outside storage and the ABD are one of my favorite things they added in here. I know I say that about everything, but like it's so convenient. Like having to go into resident services to get money was so annoying and having to go home to get your storage items was also so annoying new kk songs um they're okay one of them looks like anka song but the new music box is my favorite part gyroids i screamed when i saw these i think they're so cute and i love them i love these little guys I think the fact that you can bury them in the hole and like plant them like kind of adds like something different than how they were in New Leaf because I'm pretty sure in New Leaf you just dug them up but the fact that you can like water them and like plant them and get new things like if you could do that in New Leaf please let me know I I can't remember like if you had to water them and do all that but oh my god they're so cute and they're customizable and I, I love them I love gyroids they're so cute I love Coco um, the villager a lot too so obviously I think these are cute as heck I am about to be the best YouTube content whatever thing with this gaming computer definitely amazing machine I don't know what that's used for but a lot of people would like that but yeah the gaming set absolutely amazing the step up ladder this is gonna be so good for people with like town core cottage core farm core whatever for like People that like want the like small town look step up ladder is gonna look so good i'm gonna use them all over my island because like i said multiple times i'm doing fairy core and i just think they'll look very good as someone who's been bullied by their friends for not being able to move around my house or the places i decorated on the island this is amazing also <laughs> 
Oh my god, this was another thing. I I screamed when I saw this. Like, I loved this in New Leaf. I loved that you could go to their houses and they would come by and you can have like little dates with your villagers and have well like friend dates. But you know what I mean. Yeah, so exciting. It's <laughs> I can't get over it. I can't really. I can't. 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 Oh, it's so. They're so cute. Oh. Okay. So happy home paradise. I. I'm gonna have a lot to say on this, I think. I am so excited for this. I never got to play Happy Home Designer. I never got to play it. So I am so hyped for this because this is right up my alley. You can like decorate and design without like all the hassles. Yes, yes, please assign me up. Take me to work. I wanna go to work. I have never wanted to go to work so badly in my life. Let's go. Let's get in this plane. Let's fly. Take me there. I'm ready for it. I'm so ready for it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so like, the fact that you can design homes for your favorite villagers, I can't get over it, and like, I love that you can pick out what island type for the villager, that you can change the outside of their house, that you can do the lighting, the everything. I'm so excited about it. Even if it's paid. Like, when I saw this during the direct, I was like, I will pay you whatever, Nintendo, take my wallet, take it and run. I want this and I need this. Just, just take it. Take the wallet. Take the wallet, Nintendo. Take it. Okay, okay. Let, let me calm down for a second and actually give you guys a proper opinion on this. Well, obviously, I, I love this. I like that you can decorate so easily. I like that you can change the lightings. That you can, like, build outside. You can build outside, like, the fences and move the trees and the pathing. And it's so much easier than on your island. I honestly really wish that you could do that on your island. I know that you can bring home some of the, like, decorating features, like the pillars and the, um, what else? The partition walls and, like, ugh. Oh, and, like, the, the little thing that you do. The, uh, polishing! Yeah, polishing and adding effects. I, I just can't believe that they added so much to this game. And, like, for only $25, like, come on. It's basically a whole nother game, and I can't get over it. I think I can't get over it. Oh, and then, like, sharing the vacation homes. When they share the vacation home, oh, too cute. And, like, you can have so many people out here. Like, think of all the villagers you can have. I know, like, I think I saw someone say that you can have, like, a hundred something villagers with the archipelago. Or on your archipelago. Something like that. But anyways, um, yeah. Oh, 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 in the new hospital and schools and decorating them. You can make your own school and hospital and, like, villagers will actually go to them and use them. Like, how cute is that gonna be? I can see a lot of people, like, making fun TikToks with the archipelago as well. Like, making the little restaurants and stuff. I know a lot of people like to make, like, little drama videos. Maybe I can give my own hand at it. I'm kind of bad at making those. But I think I'm gonna give my own hand on it. And the, like, little, um... Hold on, what was it called? The portfolio? Portfolio? Yeah, the portfolio. It's basically, like, Animal Crossing's own Instagram. And I really like that because I feel like... It'll be fun to go see what people are doing and kind of get your own ideas and get inspiration from, like, people that you like. Like, not that you like, but the signs that you like. But anyways. <laughs> um. What? Oh! And I forgot to talk about the soundscapes. I feel like this is going to add so much depth to the rooms that we decorate. I'm, like, very excited to just sit in a room that I created and just vibe with the sound and get all cozy. I feel like this is so lovely for the winter season because you can just make a cute little room and put some lovely soundscapes in and just relax. And yes, I'm excited. Let me see if there's anything else that I missed that I took in my notes that I made up for a room. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, changing the weather and the time of day. Perfect. Ooh, and ooh, like they're showing in the little video right now. Adjusting the room size. Like, come on. You can basically have two rooms out of one. So when you add the partitions and the pillars and the... Ooh, I totally forgot to talk about the counters, too. But the counters! Counters! Oh, my God. It's going to look so good. I'm so excited to create homes in this. This is going to be amazing. This is, like, the best thing that could have happened to Animal Crossing. I'm so excited. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention the fact that you could take these, all of this stuff that you have on the archipelago, you can take it home to your island, like the new furniture that you get. Oh, and I think I forgot to talk about that. See, well, there's just so much to talk about. I feel like I've missed so many things, but like I've been trying to like condense 
what I'm saying, but like the fact that you can get like special items here with the money you made at work, I think that's really cute and it's a really cute feature. But yeah. Yeah. But anyways, like I was saying, you can take all this stuff home, like the furniture, the, the counters, the partition walls, the polishing, all that can go to your home island as long as you have the TLC. And that's very, very, very exciting. Oh, oh, and you can do this to your villagers' home. So once you get to a certain point, you can redesign them. Oh, and you can invite them to go get their own vacation home as well, which is super, super, super exciting. Alright, so my final thoughts on the 2.0 update and the Happy Home DLC is that I'm so hyped. Like, I, I just can't. I don't have words for this. Like, this made me so happy. I've been wanting new Animal Crossing content for so long, as I'm sure many of you have, and I can see myself being able to play Animal Crossing like I used to when the game first launched for at least the next few months. I'm very excited this this um, update came out right before I got back into content creating and making YouTube videos, which um, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and like and comment and do all that stuff. I'm bad at seeing that, so hopefully I get better at it. <laughs> but anyways yeah and i can't wait to make more videos um when the update comes out and share my island with you and share my archipelago and i'm i really hope this revives the community and honestly i'm hoping that it cures a lot of the negative the negativity and the like negative feelings people had toward this game like i know nintendo took a while to release um new content for it but i i think this was worth the wait i honestly feel like it was worth the wait and honestly if you aren't excited about this Reevaluate yourself, honestly. <laughs> okay, but seriously. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do the thing. Do, do, go do the thing. Alright, bye.